what is going on everyone welcome back to another fifa 22 ultimate team video and um, today we've got quite a few gold ratings have been released um today by some of the teams we've got uh, some players from real madrid and we're obviously starting here with borussia dortmund this is the official uh, borussia dortmund twitter page and um, so as you can see they have posted uh their top gold players for the game this year and um, starting off obviously we've got Marius Wolf, Nico Schultz, Thomas Munier, we've got Reyna, Zagadou Hits, Mohamed De Hood, we've got Akanji, Jude Bellingham and Kerbal the goalkeeper. Um, Kerbal's been starting uh, quite a few games this year, maybe not too sure if Becky is injured or not, but uh, there is Kerbal. Um, Akanji, Jude Bellingham, two Kerbal and another defender in the team maybe, we could go Nico Schultz at the left back as well would be very very nice for this Dortmund team I don't believe in game stats have been released for any of the cards just yet and um, there's Roman Berkey down from an 84 to an 80 we've got Daniel Marlon on the transfer and um, Julian Brandt has been murdered there 73 pace down three ratings this year Thorgan Hazard down one rating Emre Chan looks very very nice um, as an 82 rated card we've got 83 uh, Axel Witzel uh, quite a lot of pace has been lost over the years on Witzel, only 61 pace, but very well-rounded defensive mid. Should be very, very cheap at the start of the game. We've got Raf Guerrero, the left-back, very well-rounded, better suited to a centre mid role, really, but quite bad physicals for him. Um, we obviously have the top three players for Dortmund as well, Royce, Hummels and Haaland. Royce has lost a bit of pace, but very well-rounded stat still. Hummels is super slow, insane, uh, defending very good physicals, passing and dribbling as well for a centre back. Um, maybe this year pace isn't too much of a, of a difference maker. Maybe instead of uh, obviously 86 Hummels is there, but you probably want to use this 80 Kanji because he's got 81 pace. Um, and you can obviously boost his defending up into the 90s with a shadow and get 90 pace as well on him. Um, and then we've got the main man, Erling Haaland. Uh, 89 pace, 91 shooting, 65 passing, 80 dribbling, and 88 physical. What a card that is going to be um, for the Dortmund man. And um, as you can see, these cards have literally just been released, so um, they aren't really out on the game just yet. We've got some Chelsea cards of, as well. Um, they've all been spammed on the, to the internet. We've got quite a few. Uh, Chelsea has basically got the entire squad here. And then we've got a few Atletico Real Madrid players as well. Um, so let's start with taking some of the Chelsea cards at the bottom. I don't believe in-game stats will be out for these. Sal Niguez. Um, down by two ratings to an 82. Still a very well-rounded card as you can see. In-game stats not quite there. Uh, for these cards it probably won't be until the Dead Space is released which is on game release. Um, sadly Rudiger looks like a very good card. Um, again, no in games, no skills, weak foot, but you can see the base stats, and you can probably go um, similar to last year's stats, but obviously Rudiger, 83 rated, now a board, very nice, Lukaku up to an 88 rated, good pace, dribbling is okay, passing is good, shooting is great for striker, and 83 physical as well as top, top tier for Lukaku there. His strength stats are going to be insane. Jorginho up to an 85. Still low pace, but very good. Uh, passing, defensive physicals, okay. Dribbling, not too bad either. This card probably won't be too used because of that pace, unfortunately. And we've got Team of Werner, minus one, but still has an insane start card. Top pace, dribbling, pass, uh, dribbling, shooting, and passing. All pretty decent for an 84. Chelsea card right there. We've got Kovacic, still 83. Um, pretty basic card, really. A very high dribbling and good pace mm. I mean he could be a, a useful sentiment for the start of the game we've got Kai Havertz 84 rated this year was 85 again a, a pretty good cam uh, to start in the prem with him we've got Edouard Mendy he's up to an 83 so even higher than Kepa was this year that's a very nice card for uh, Mendy there there's quite a few more cards so that was just the bottom line let's take the rest of the Chelsea cards um, all up until Cruz, anyways. Barkley, Modric, Malang, Sar is in there. A bit of a downgrade for him. So we have Hakim Ziyech um, down from an 85 to an 84, and also position change to right wing instead of Cam. Um, pace for right wing is not going to be good enough, so he'll probably be quite cheap this year. Probably should keep those five star skills. And um, we've got Miss and Mount as well from Chelsea. He is an 83 this year. Hmm. 
and it's fair enough he could be a little bit higher but some great great stats on this Mason Mount as well to the start of the game um, as Piliqueta was 84 last year now in 83 but a centre back could be good at the start of the game pace not quite there again um, and you probably see 78 to 80 rated cards with 80 pace or high 70s pace more used than this as we have got Reese James right wing back um, nice stats not much else to say starter right back again even at 81 rated we've got Tony Cruz Terrible pace, everything else is going to be insane on this card. He's going to have five star weak foot, three star skills. Um, it's going to be a very good card. We've got Ross Barkley, 78. Again, not too bad. He, I believe four star, four star on the Barkley card. And, and then we've got um, Luka Modric, obviously pairing up with that Tony Cruz. He's going to be very nice in the midfield. Again, another super similar card to last year for Luka Modric. Um, that's exactly what we're looking at. We've got Malang Sar down to a 74 um, from a 75 of last year. He was playing for Porto, I believe, in the Liga North after Chelsea signed him, loaned him out. Um, and now he's back at Chelsea. You've got Chalo, a 73 rated. It has had a couple seasons out on loan. Same picture, I believe. Um, he looks okay. And we've got Andreas Christensen. Coming in next, he looks like a very similar card to last year. I believe, was he 79 or 80? 81, he was around the same. Super similar stats, super similar rating for Christensen. And we've got Kepa down to 79. This guy looks terrible. What a shame. World's most expensive goalkeeper, I believe. His, his price tag would still stand. Um, and he, he's turned into a little bit of a flop, unfortunately. Um, so that's Kepa there. We've got that top line. We've got Max Alonso. Hudson Adoy is a gold now. Um, we've already looked at Hummels, we'll take the Alaba and then we'll finish with the Atletico Madrid cards as well. And then we've got Joao Felix, is there, we need a Jimenez and Llorente. So we start with Marcus Alonso, one of my favourite players has been absolutely nerfed. Um, sadly this year he has 58 pace. Which is going to be not too useful, and it's a shame. He's one of the best left backs in the league, um, in my opinion. Obviously, there's great free kicks. He's got great ability on that left side. Um, six foot two, obviously. Shame he's lacking the pace, but it is what it is. This year we got Callum Hudson Odoi. He was four star, four star, I believe. Um, anyways, there's a silver. So he's got good pace and dribbling. Shooting sucks, but even 80 rated players like Pulisic only have 70 shooting themselves. Passing's okay. As well, there we got Ruben Loftus Cheek as a right mid, um, right now. Um, not a bad card in general, would be very easy to start in a centre mid spot, but not someone you're ever going to want to use. David Alba, we're starting with the, the Madrid side of things. We've got David Alba here, a top, top centre back, had a great season in the Bundesliga, he won a couple of trophies there. Team of the season for Alba. Now moving to Real Madrid, hopefully, they win the La Liga so you can boost that trophy cabinet. Um, great pace, great dribbling, great defending, great passing, great physicals, great shooting for a centre back. This guy's going to be super OP. Uh, Lincoln Modric, Mendy at left back, Fela Mendy, and then you've got Courtois and goal. Obviously, you've got Militao can link to him as well. These guys are going to be insane. And then we go to um, Atletico Madrid. We've got Joao Felix, probably going to keep that five star skills. If not, it's going to be four star. Um, he looks quite good to obviously start with. He's going to be very nice uh, in a team. Obviously linking with Angel Correa. That looks like a super, super strong card as well for Correa. Um, as well, you're going to be able to link a Griezmann strong link into these guys. And uh, DePaul as well. Another super nice card for DePaul. That transfer was under the radar for most people. But from Udinese to Atletico Madrid. Super good player in real life. I've got Carrasco to left mid up to an 84. Um, hopefully he enjoyed his time in China, but now he's back in the big leagues. Um, 84 rated, top pace, dribbling and shooting, great passing as well. Um, he's looking pretty good. We've got an 84, Jimenez looks super similar to last year. Um, great defending and physicals, uh, dribbling, passing, shooting, pace, all suck there. And finally the 86, Marcos Llorente. Look at this guy, he's going to be an absolute monster playing in the midfield. Could you imagine this guy next to an Angola Kante start of the game? That would be super nice. Um, the Lorente there. Don't think we've got any extra ratings just yet. 
um, on the latest FIFA 22. Ah, there's the Ronaldo, has got the stats on there. And um, we've got all the Dortmund cards that have now been added. We've just taken a look at those guys. But the one we've all been waiting for, the Cristiano Ronaldo, obviously the third highest rated player. There's the ones to watch Ronaldo. Man United wants to watch Ronaldo. At 87 pace, 88 dribbling, 83 shooting, 82 passing, 75 physical. He's definitely going to have a 4 star uh, week for that minimum, possibly 5 star, and 5 star skills obviously is really well there. Um, it's going to be absolutely insane. Um, so, obviously, these are the ratings FIFA 22 directly from EA Sports. Um, hopefully, you guys have enjoyed today's video. Um, is this the Valverde? Ooh, that's a Valverde card. That looks super nice. Another uh, Real Madrid card. I know they are streaming some of the releases for the Real Madrid cards right now on the Real Madrid Twitch channel. There's apparently Dabala, Di Maria. Um, but these guys, yeah, nice starter team there for Dortmund. Um, yeah, these guys are, are going to be absolutely crazy uh, linking up with each other. There's the Kante Lukaku in there. Now, obviously, we've all looked at. Um, hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, take care, and peace.